The state pension currently provides a regular income for 12.6 million older people across Great Britain, including more than 1 million living in Scotland. The payment is delivered by the Department for Work and Pensions DWP, to those who have reached the UK government's eligible retirement age, now 66 for both men and women, and have paid at least 10 years worth of national insurance contributions. Some 2.9 million people claiming the new state pension are receiving payments of up to £203.85 each week, and as the benefit is usually paid every four weeks, this amounts to £815. 40 per pay period. The majority of overall claimants, 9.7 metres, are receiving basic state pension payments of up to £156. 20 each week, the equivalent of £624.80 per pay period. The type of state pension a person receives depends on their date of birth. Men born before April 6, 1951 and women born before April 6, 1953 are eligible for the basic state pension while those born after these dates will get the new state pension. Once someone reaches state pension age they can defer payments if they choose to carry on working. Doing this will actually increase payments when they eventually decide to claim by around £600 each year. But what happens to state pension payments when someone dies? It's a difficult topic and not one anyone would choose to think about, but knowing what will happen could help you or a family member. Below is a quick overview of what you need to know. State pension payments after someone dies A claim for state pension won't just end when someone dies, there are things you need to do. When the person dies, you must inform the pension service so that payments stop. You can do this by calling the pension service helpline on 0800 731 0469. You may be entitled to extra payments from your deceased spouse's or civil partner's state pension, however, this depends on their national insurance contributions, and the date they reached the state pension age. If you haven't reached state pension age yet, you might also be eligible for bereavement benefits. Inheritance basic state pension should a spouse or civil partner have reached state pension age before April 6, 2016, then Gov. UK instructs people to contact the pension service once someone dies in order to check what they can claim. It may be that they can increase their basic state pension by using the deceased's qualifying years if they do not already get the full amount. Should they have reached state pension age on or after April 6, 2016, or be under state pension age when their spouse or civil partner dies, the your partner's national insurance record and your state pension tool on the UK government website can enable a person to check what inheritance they may be entitled to. For people who are single or divorced, or who have had their civil partnership dissolved, it may be that their state can claim some of a basic state pension. This is if that person dies after reaching state pension age, and only if the state pension had not been claimed. In this circumstance, the estate can claim up to three months of the basic state pension. Extra money from deferring state pension Some people may opt to defer their state pension in order to build up an extra amount. In this situation, the spouse or civil partner may either claim the extra state pension or get a lump sum. State pension top up Should anyone have topped up their state pension, the spouse or civil partner may be able to inherit some or all of the top up. Gov. UK states. Inheritance, new state pension It may be that a person is able to inherit an extra payment on top of their new state pension if they are widowed. 
However, an individual cannot inherit anything should they remarry or form a new civil partnership before they reach state pension age. Inheriting additional state pension if a marriage or civil partnership began before April 6, 2016 and one of the following circumstances applies, then a person may inherit part of their deceased partner's additional state pension. These are, the deceased partner reached state pension age before April 6, 2016 They died before April 6, 2016 but would have reached state pension age on or after that date Inheriting a protected payment A person will inherit half of their partner's protected payment if their marriage or civil partnership with them began before April 6, 2016 and, their state pension ages on or after April 6, 2016 They died on or after April 6, 2016 This payment will be made with the state pension Get the latest record money news Join the conversation on our Money Saving Scotland Facebook group for energy and money saving tips, the latest benefits news, consumer help and advice on coping with the cost of living crisis. Sign up to our Record Money newsletter and get the top stories sent to your inbox daily from Monday to Friday, including a special cost of living edition on a Thursday. Sign up here. You can also follow us on X, formerly Twitter, at Record Money underscore for regular updates throughout the day. Inheriting extra estate pension or a lump sum A person may inherit part of all of their partner's extra estate pension or lump sum if, they died while they were deferring their state pension or had started claiming it after deferring they reached state pension age before April 6, 2016 they were married or in the civil partnership when they died. Check your state pension to calculate how much money you will receive on the Gov. UK website here. Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages.